Thank you. So now let's get back to it. We have cost push inflation. Find cost push inflation is as a result of the supply side of the economy. But how does it happen? So we have a graphical representation of this, which is SRS1 to SRS2. But what would bring about this? There's an increasing wage rate. So if there's an increasing wage rate, it means government of a country or of a nation of an economy has increased the minimum wage. So if government has increased the minimum wage, firms, companies, employers have to comply. There's compliance. So if firms have to comply, they don't have any other choice than to increase the wage rate of their workers. But this represents an increase in their cost of production. So what can they do? The first thing they do is they reduce supply into the market from SRS1 to SRS2. Now, we start looking for the product. The product is not always available. The next thing they do is they increase the price from P1 to P2. Because at that point in time, consumers will not be willing. They won't even hesitate to pay. Do we get it? Mm -hmm. That's the first situation. The second situation, higher prices of imports. This could be as a result of boom in the economy. So if there's boom within the economy, it means the economy is growing as fast as possible. We start importing. So price of importation might increase as a result of that. Those that are involved in importation businesses, they stop selling, they stop exporting too. As a result of that, the prices will increase from P1 to P2 because they stop selling. So we don't find those goods available. Those imported goods, we can't find them anymore. 